right? And so two thirds, two 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 parts of our people being destroyed. That's that's a whole lot of Israelites, man. That is a whole lot of Israelites. All right, but Jake is rebellious. You know, he come up against the prophets. He come up against the Lord directly. Jake is an atheist. Jake want to be a, a, a sodomite. All right, he want to be a part of the alphabet community. Here it is. We telling you, you got a you got a chance to get saved. All right, and increase your chances of be being a king and a priest. All right, a god over the planet, and you just want to be a nigga stuck in your ways, man. You know, smoking loud. Uh, drinking henny. All right. Jake don't know how to have a ruling class mentality. And just to back the scripture up, all right, Amos 9 and 8, it says, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. Yeah, because when you get let, me get, let me get this precept in the book of Zechariah. Yeah, this is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Yeah, two parts of the house of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, is going to be cut off and die, man. All right, again, because you, 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 you won't be allowed to repent, okay? You can't repent. You're so lost in the sauce that you can't come back to the Heavenly Father and the Son, man. All right? Zechariah 13 and 8. I'm going to read it again. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined. I will try them as gold is tried. Yeah, the third part, the, the, the one remaining part of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, we're gonna be we're gonna be brought through the fire, man. All right, and that's going into the uh, the, the the election to salvation. Starting with the one hundred forty-four thousand. Okay, the man that's out here prophesying, doing the work. You know, you had the elder um uh, Manatha Zagba, all right, GMS uh, uh, narrated South Carolina or S uh, SC07. He had posted a video of, of a death camp, man. One is of the Lord. All right, so there should be no excuse as to why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans can't come out and prophesy, man. And I'm going to get into that later, all right, about Jake being ashamed of the Lord, all right? But starting with the 144,000, all right, we're going to be, Lord willing, we be those men. We're going to be brought through the fire, man, all right, because we was built for the adversity, all right, all, the, all of the, the trials and the tribulations. The heavy persecution that's about to come upon America. The hour of Jacob's trouble. We built for that shit, man. All right? And Lord willing, we stay strong because the only way out is through. Okay? Zechariah 13 and 9, it says, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. All right, that's what we want to say uh, to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh in the Hebrew tongue, the Lashon Kodash. All right, the Heavenly Father is our power, man. He only dealing with us. All right, that's gonna be the uh, the, the the holy virgins, man, the elect. That's what we're gonna say. That's what we're gonna be saying to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. All right, again, because two thirds of our people, they're rebellious. They got to be cut off and die because they can't repent from their wickedness. Too far gone in the world, man. All right. We got to get out of uh, Babylon, man. You know, which is which is called America. It's spiritual Babylon, Egypt, and Sodom and Gomorrah. We gotta we gotta get we gotta get uh, mentally out of this place, spiritually out of this place, man. All right. But that was the point on that. Let's go back to the book of Amos. Amos nine. And nine, it says, For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among the nations, like as corn is sifted in a seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Yeah, the Lord said he's going to sift the house of Israel, man. Okay? Like when you sift something, you you uh, you, you getting out um, all the uh, 
Oh, you separating the good from the bad, man. The good seed from the bad seed. Okay? All right? The Lord says he's going to sift the house of Israel from among the nations. All right? Even more proof that we are scattered abroad, man. All right? All of these, these uh, K, uh, K hip hop and K pop stars popping up. All right? That's been popping up over the past few years. All right? A lot of, yeah, a lot of them is Israelites, man. Okay? These Tom McDonald's, these Eminem's, okay, these um, these are uh, 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 Ronnie Radke's. A lot of these are brothers, man. But a lot of y'all don't know because you, you you don't know the spirit. Y'all can't understand the spirit. All of these metalheads, a lot of these metalheads are rock stars. All right, Jake is all over the place, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans are everywhere, and the Lord said He's gonna sift us. All right. The Lord is gonna bring Israel from from among the nations, man. All right. Amos 9 and 9, it says, for lo, all right, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Yeah, that's what the sinners of our people say, all right? Oh, the Lord ain't going to do nothing to me. The Lord can't see my wickedness. The Lord don't know what I do behind closed doors. That's a lie, man. Okay? Y'all are still in these parlor houses called churches. All right? Still listening to your, your poverty pit pastors, man. And all he doing is digging in your pockets. Passing the collection plate around like nine times, man. Ain't it already enough that we spiritually broken? And now our own people want to wanna, wanna go in our pockets, man? All right? But the scriptures say our people love to have it so that the smooth words, the buttery talk, being lied to, our people love to have it so, man. Two thirds of our people hate the truth. You know? Let's just call it for what it is. Two thirds of our people uh, 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 hate the truth, man. They love lies. They love being lied to, man. All right? The scriptures tell you a woman's supposed to stay at home and learn from her husband. All right, but you got you got the, the women in these harlot houses in these churches, all right, wearing short dresses, man, coming out with a with a, a full busty cleavage. All right, that 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 come as you are a uh, mentality, and stay as you are mentality. You know God loves you. It don't matter what you do. That's a damn lie, man. All right, that's why hey, you, you dicks, man. <laughs> if you don't repent, you're gonna die. You know. I'm going to read it again. Amos 9 and 10, it says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Yeah, you're saying the evil is not going to uh, 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 stop you from, from doing all your, your, your niggadums, man. All right? All that nigga shit you got going back on. You got this fucking guy, Kendrick Lamar, all right, came back out after X amount of fucking years, make a mockery of the Lord, man, with the crown of thorns. Nigga, how dare you, man? But this is the same guy who came out Many years back, talk about some, I'm an Israelite, I ain't black no more, it's just a color, it ain't facts no more, all right? These celebrity Israelites are not sincere, man. These Brandon T. Jacksons, the Kendrick Lamars, all right? These Daylight, all right? These, 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 these uh, celebrity Israelites, they are not sincere, man, because they're trying to establish a kingdom on this side. Even if they do know that they're Israelites, man, they still make a mockery of the Heavenly Father. They're not out prophesying. All right, now. They're not out prophesying. They're not, they're not out distributing the work. All right? But the prophets are, starting with the, the men of Great Millstone. All right? The prophets is out, man. All right? Let me, um... I'm going to read it again. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me get this in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 3. Verse 19. All right. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha. All right. Chapter 3, verse 19. It says, for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. There you go, man. And the scriptures say horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. All right, 
Yahweh uh, 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 hated this generation, who the world calls Jesus Christ. All right? And that was in his time. All right? So if the generation of Yahweh said who the world calls Jesus Christ, if the generation in that time was wicked, how much more America, man? This place got to go. Because there's no righteousness. There's no truth in America, man. All right? Even Yahweh Shah had to uh, catch hell from his own people and then the other nations. The Messiah, the, the, the Savior, man, even he had to go through, uh, go through it. So how much more us? All right? Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 19, it says, For horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. All right? Hey, horrible is the end, man. All right, the scriptures uh, talk about... um. Uh, 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 uh. After death by pain, man. All right, you gonna realize how wicked you was after death by reason of pain, man. Because the Lord is gonna torture your spirit, man. He's gonna torture your soul. All right. That's why the scriptures say. Matter of fact, let me um, let me see if I can pull that up, man. Through the spirit. All right. And hey, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all really think it's a game, man? When the Lord come back, he is not playing. All right, Yahweh Shah, who the world calls Jesus Christ, is coming back to kill. He's coming back to kill a lot. All right? But then yeah, yeah, the same ones who hear that turn around and be like, oh, God won't do that. God won't do that. Hey, okay, well, let's see. You know? Let me get this in the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 28. It says, and fear not them which killed the body but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yeah, fear the one able to destroy your, your soul and body. All right, because these devils, all right, because the scriptures talk about saying, well, come down having great wrath, man. All right, the enemy is going to come in like a flood. Okay, martial law is going to come to America. Concentration camps coming to America. World War III coming to America. All right, but 